Hey y'all, it's Mikey, and welcome to Rockin' K. What is Rockin' K, you might ask? Rockin' K is what we call our homestead here in Germany. We are some Americans transplanted to Germany, and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. We're going back into this greenhouse build. So it, the last installment was getting ready to put this greenhouse in. Well, look at that. She's done. Let me show you how it happened. All right, y'all, so we have a small opportunity in the weather. It has been raining, 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 raining. And guess what? More raining. So we're back here on the build, or I should say the destruction part of the build, because we got to get all this stuff out. And yeah, it's cloudy. Yeah, it's threatening rain. But we got to get this done. We have one week one week and Rachel's home and we got to get this cement gone so let's do it put you on a tripod and uh yeah just have at it make a mess All right, I would say we're about 10%, maybe 20% into this uh, break, busting up this slab. And let me tell you, some hard stuff. So it's not real thick, as you can see, but it is full of aggregate. And yeah, this stuff is rock solid. Uh, cement, right? Rock, get it. Yep. But. Hopefully the weather holds off long enough that I can get most of this slab busted up. So I'm going to switch tactics. I started up on the uphill side. I have to, have to, have to have that bottom area cleared. So we're going to go over there and concentrate on that first. I knocked little lips off and stuff like that earlier, but we really, we really need to work our way up this way, this way. If I do run out of time, I can at least get it cleared get it cleaned and get the greenhouse down and then we can worry about the rest when Rachel comes home so yeah let's do it
All right, y'all. So it appears brute force is going to be better than mechanical advantage. So as you see, smacking it with the sledgehammer, cracking it, and then using the jackhammer to get in it. The thing is, this stuff is brittle, but it's hard. So the bit doesn't want to go down in it, but because it's brittle, if I can get a small little crack in it, it'll chase that crack and pop it right out. So um, I'm nearing halfway, and yeah, it's I'm an hour in or so, so it'll be like another hour uh, till I'm done, I hope, and then I got to clean all this up. So yeah, it's a lot of work. y'all so I am in the home stretch on this this is hard work shirt soaked and it's only like maybe maybe 75 degrees out here but the humidity is sky high because all the clouds building we got lucky the rain hasn't hit yet but I got maybe a <clears throat> tiny little almost 4x4 four four section left and we're two hours and change in. So I have from about here across to where the hammer is. Yeah, a little shaky, adrenaline's running. Like I said, it's hard work, real hard work. I'm an old man. <laughs> You're only as old as you think, right? You're only as old as you feel. Age is just a number, whatever the saying is, but this is some hard work. Now, Rachel's thinking that I'm not doing much because well, I can't tell her what I'm doing, right? Because it's a surprise. So like today, she's like, you're going you're gonna to be on vacation all week and you're not going to have gotten anything done. <laughs> and I'm just thinking, you're in for a big surprise. Yep. You don't even realize I'm really hoping I get this done before she gets home. I got seven days to put this greenhouse up. The hardest part is going to be the foundation. All the rest, it's like Lego. But tomorrow I got to get up early. The building supply store here has a 20% sale. So I came up with a different idea and I'm hoping it's going to work. But I'm going to build up the bottom with pressure treated lumber that's going to be painted um it should save it from from the rot right i mean that's my best guess um worst case scenario is like i said this greenhouse is like legos so if we do start to experience rot i can pick it up pour a regular foundation and put it back down just it's going to be a little harder to take it apart but you know it is what it is right um yeah, maybe, yeah, I don't know. I'm tired, y'all, but we got to get the rest of this done, so let's get it done.
All right, so we got the rest of that. It's all busted up. Let me show you. So it's all in little pieces. Now I can come in with the front loader on the tractor, start scooping it up, and it's pretty much clean fill. I mean, we're just going to put it where we put all the hay bales and stuff like that um, just to get rid of it. So we're going to backfill it with earth later so that uh, that green area is a little bit flatter going out. So I got to bust this up into smaller, more manageable pieces. It's going to be easiest with the jackhammer. I'm just going to start hitting it on all the, the mortar seams and get it diced up. So, And then we're going to call this a day because we're three hours in. Uh, my shirt's soaked. It's hot. It's threatening rain. And yeah. And then we'll come back. And hopefully tomorrow I do that Balmart run. You know, the building supply run. And even if it's raining a little bit, the tractor has an awning. So I can come through and just, you know, drive the tractor and start cleaning this up. Because uh, we really need to clean it up. I might even start tonight. I don't know. We'll see, right? But let's get that wall over there dice up. And uh, then we'll go get some refreshments. Because I'm getting really thirsty. So I got a much needed refreshment and switched the bucket onto the tractor. Now we're going to try to get this rubble gone. So set you up on tripod and I'm going to have at this and see just how far I can get it. So... Yeah, long day. It's uh, like four or five. I don't know. But let's get it, man. Let's get some of this stuff gone. Get all that rubble cleared and get ready to put up a greenhouse, right? y'all long day it's late it's not dark yet but once I got going I didn't want to stop so let me flip you around how's that for clean slate I know I got to sweep it and stuff but yeah there was a regular cement pad underneath the cement pad the good thing is it's gonna stop this whole water going in that door thing because when it was raining it was rolling into that door so that's fixed but i'll come out here tomorrow get it swept and then start plotting all the lines on the ground for this greenhouse and yeah we actually might make it in a week because from here it's like lego so 
right? Well, we, we have to build a foundation because you can see, standing here, you can see the drop. You know how it goes down. But that's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll get it. But uh, I got to go eat. I got to go take care of animals. My shirt is soaked. Yeah, so we'll pick back up later. All right, folks, so we decided to do a little something a little different with the greenhouse instead of pouring a foundation and doing all that what we're going to do is we're actually going to use pressure treated lumber and waterproof paint and all that so it's been a long day and i finally got everything down to where it's going to be full square pieces of lumber now I'll let me flip it around and show you what i mean so you can see these are all cut at an angle. And what it is, is now this is the, the final level here where it comes out to here. Then it's actually a full piece coming off the top of that, a full piece underneath there. So if that makes sense, and I'll show you more when I start stacking them up. I'll uh, I'll video that when I stack them up and start getting them fit. Um, the idea is going to be I work tomorrow, come home from work tomorrow, and pull out all the bottom pieces, all the bottom pieces for the greenhouse, and lay them out on the wall to make sure that the wall is in the right place because we get one shot. We have five millimeters leeway. Five millimeters in or out. The walls are nearby 80 millimeters, and this wood is 90 millimeters. So we have 10 millimeters of wiggle room, five millimeters either way off center. So, yeah, we are down to the wire. We are down to the wire. But it's just, you know, that's the way I kind of do things sometimes. But, yeah, we're back on it after work tomorrow. All right, y'all, so it is Monday, and the clock is ticking. Rachel's home Thursday. So I've been working on the layout here for the greenhouse. And short of getting it 100% square, there she is. So this big opening right here is the door going in. But that's pretty much the foundation. I got to get it painted and get it actually anchored now. So the plan is to stop in tomorrow for lunch, maybe throw some paint, come home, zing the anchors, and actually start the actual assembly of the greenhouse. But what I need to do is I need to anchor this corner right there then do a measurement out to that corner and anchor that corner and then this make sure that this is sitting at the right spot and then just get it all anchored down it sounds easy in theory right but yeah we'll see because it has to be square because when when the glazing goes in this greenhouse if it's not square you're going to see it on the glass panels because they're not going to fit right. So this is critical, 100% critical. But I think it looks cool. It's going to be a massive greenhouse. The thing is, is, even if she's not happy with the size, we can go pick up as many extensions as she wants. I mean, she can make it go as far as she wants to. I mean, it's it's easy. You know, we may lose some of the rubber stripping and stuff like that, the glazing that pops in. We might have to buy some more of that. But, I mean, if she decides she wants to, you know, extend it, it's not a problem. But she better be happy with this. <laughs> this better be big enough. It's It's got to be. Look at the size of this thing. I mean, yeah, if she wants another greenhouse, she can. We, we'll, we'll do hoop houses. I mean, yeah. All right, I got to stop. I got to feed animals. I got to do all my chores. It is already seven o'clock at night, so Monday's a wash. 
Got this done. Everything's cut. Everything's leveled. Yeah. All right. Wait it tomorrow. All right, y'all. So it is a hot one. It is bright. It is sunny. And we got to do some painting, which it's only like 80-ish. So, yeah. Um, and direct sun, not the greatest, but we got to do what we got to do. We got like two and a half days. Two and a half days to get this thing done. So I'm gonna set you up, we're gonna start painting, and we're gonna do some, some anchoring after that. All right, y'all, so it was a hot one today, and the camera's overheated. I ended up getting a little bit of painting, and then, yeah, they just gave up. It was just too hot. We were in direct sun. But I do have to do a little bit, of, little bit of touch up on the paint, but everything is actually mounted, mounted. So all we have left now is to go up from here. So it's looking good. Let me flip you around. So, it's all anchored down all the way up to this corner right here. And then you can see it's all painted. It's all painted the anthracite gray. And there's that's just dust on it over there from doing the drilling the cement. But looks pretty slick. I'm going to have to do some touch-ups here and there and, <clears throat> you know, nip the ends here because they ended up just a touch long, but it looks good. I am beat, y'all. We I started it, I don't know, um, what, like three, two, two or three? And it's now eight something. So, yeah. I'm whooped. Now, hopefully, tomorrow, we can get this all knocked out. And then we got to finish up the other project. And so that everything is, like, ready. But we can just hope, right? 
So we'll catch up with you tomorrow. Good morning, y'all. And we are working on this build. So we got a little somewhere yesterday and the the heat has been too much for the cameras. It's it, The cameras are running for five, 10 minutes and then they're just overheating. Um, it's the perfect place for a greenhouse because there is no shade at all here. So uh, I would imagine that later on, Rachel's gonna have to install um, like the shade netting and stuff. But let me flip you around and show you where we're at. So it is, yes, this blue film will come off. It is getting there. We'll, we'll, we'll pull you back for a view. But it is a big greenhouse. We're going to get moving on it. Um, I'm going to stop along the way, shoot little clips. Um, no action shots. This, the, the cameras just can't take it. Uh, sorry, folks. I got to buy some cameras. All right. I got to take a pause for a couple of minutes. I got, well, an hour and a half or so because I got some, you know, business to, to take care of. But we're halfway. Well, halfway with the structure. I still have to do the roof and stuff. But let me flip you around. Yeah. So we're three panels in. There's three panels to go on this side and then go down the other side. But I still have to anchor at the top and keep this level. And then work my way all the way across. And then once everything is up, then I will um, silicone across the top and slide all the roof panels in. So it looks like we're going to make the deadline. Um, she's at the airport now. And yeah, hopefully... Uh, Everything goes smooth, and we will have this up, and then get the other surprise set up for her too. So, yeah. All right, we'll be back. All right, y'all, I am fresh out of the shower, and I'm on the way to get Rachel, but I'm gonna give you a quick sneak peek of what we got, and then I'm gonna set up a camera and everything um, when she comes back, when I bring her back, and we'll get her reaction and everything, but, the roof didn't make it. It's going to take a couple hours to do that. But the greenhouse is up. And there's her swing. And yeah. I had help today. So I had a friend help me out today. And I'm trying to keep you out of the sun. And uh, so we got in a hustle. And I really didn't film you know, the action footage. Sorry folks. It was about getting it done. And getting it done in time. And, well, we fell short by about two hours, but uh, not a problem because um, the structure's up. She'll see what it is, but we'll catch up with you when we get back here. All right, so she's home, and we're going to let the cat out of the bag. Hopefully, she likes it. We'll see. So... Let me, let me get in front of you some where I can see you and see what you think about it. Oh my God. Oh, it's awesome. Oh my God. Not yet. I have to, I have to brace it. Oh, it's beautiful. It's awesome. Oh my God. Yeah, but what about that? Holy shit. There's a cat. Yeah. It has no way out. Let it get out. Wow. You don't notice the anything walls else gone. missing? Or... The wall's gone. Wow. There's something else missing. What's up? The whole floor is gone. Yeah. So I think she likes it. And like I was telling her on the way home, it's 80% done. I ran out of time. Um, I'll explain to her a bunch about it because a lot of work went into it. You guys saw it all. But 
we're gonna we're gonna cut this one for now and we'll come back as we're finishing it up we need to eat. all right so with this greenhouse this is the last like real piece to do and then we got some weather stripping to jam but rachel is going to build the door for the greenhouse herself um while i take care of some other things but this is what's left so that's what's left those couple of white beams there and that stuff right there that's out of four of those boxes so she's gonna work on putting it together um, and then I'll help her and get it all hung on the greenhouse itself so she's gonna be busy with that I got to go up to the other side and take care of some other stuff so we'll check back in on her in a little bit and see how she's doing all right, so I knocked some stuff out up front. I came down here to check on Rachel, and she's just about done. So she's almost ready to put this on the actual greenhouse. We gotta get all the hardware put on. I think what, and, and I think she's gonna mess with like peeling the plastic and putting the weather strip in and stuff like that, just because it's easy with the door when it's not mounted. You can put it however you need it. So, but she's eighty percent done. So we'll check in on her again when we're ready to hang the door. All right, so as you saw, I think she liked it. Uh, it was a good surprise. And, you know, we're a little bit later after that, uh, about a week and a half or so, two weeks. And, the greenhouse is done done not the 80 90 percent that it was so you can see behind me we're gonna go inside because it actually is spitting rain so let's go inside and it's gonna sound a little hollow of course because it's empty but it turned out to be a really large greenhouse so as you can see 8 by 12 is big Plus, it's very tall, so I'm gonna I'm gonna flip you around, and the door is a normal door, so it's not a sliding door or anything like that. The door actually has a handle and a lock and all that. Um, you saw her building the door, so it has the regular clear glass for all the lower panels. And, man, look at that view. It, it preserves that view. It has this automatic roof that opens and closes with the temperature. And you'll notice it has the corrugated panels for the actual, like, the, the flat part of the roof, the slope of the roof. I think that's going to make it so that it kind of diffuses the light a little more and it's not so hot because I'll tell you what, it gets hot in here. Um... Yeah, so it's done. She loves it. Next, we gotta get some shelves and everything in here. Uh, we started doing the patchwork on the walls, as you can see. Um, and we'll have some painting and stuff coming up and some, some, future, uh, some future content. Because, like I said, we're gonna paint inside here first. You know, all inside the, the actual greenhouse on this wall. She's going to do some other things with the wall. We're not real sure yet, but we'll paint in here. And then we're actually going to start and paint all the way around and paint the entire house. Yeah, so that's going to be a huge, huge project. But this project is done. All the editing. I got 99% of the editing done minus this clip right here. And I'm going to get it out to you right away. So... Uh, as for first impressions of this of this uh, greenhouse, I like it. She loves it. Um, we've had a couple of real severe storms, and it hasn't phased this thing. This thing is rock, rock solid. Unlike the other one over there, which we actually had to ballast because the wind wouldn't take it away. So, yeah, I'm, I'm impressed. So, you know my motto. If you're thinking about family, you're thinking about friends, give them a WhatsApp or a WhatsApp, you know you'd love to hear from them too. And if you have not, please 
click that like, click that subscribe button, and until the next installment, off you to Zane.